talking about like what to do after practice. Um, but uh, again, practice 11, I was you know a lot more uh, pleased with today compared to Tuesday. Just more energy. I don't know what they did over the weekend. Maybe they were watching too much of the Sweet 16 and Elite Eight. Stayed up too late, but uh, had a lot of energy today. Uh, it was crisper, uh, clean. Um, so I'm, I'm good with today's practice. Questions? Overall, I mean, since camp started, have you felt like the team has had a, I don't want to say a different mindset, but since they they won a conference championship, they, they've been understanding what it takes to get there. Have you seen them sort of approach things maybe, I don't know if you want to call it more business-like or just, I don't know. Not really. Like, I don't see it any different. I mean, you guys probably feel it or, you know, you're thinking too much, Chris. I think. But, uh, you know, I mean, I think it's the same attitude. Our guys always, it's the same mindset. They're not working any harder. They're not working any different. They're working like they normally do. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't see anything different there. I know we've asked you as it's gone along, but now about a week out from the spring game, how is the install offensively going? How is that? I'd say we probably got about 80% of it in. We've got a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff in right now. I mean, a lot. And uh, the, the offense is very multiple, what we've done. Some of the new stuff we've added in is going to really help us, uh, especially our run game. Uh, pass game, you know, um, will be pretty good. But, um, you know, just some of the things we have in for the run game to get us in some better runs, um, you know, I think are, uh, are really going to help us. So install is going great. How's Kanate settled in? He's really done a nice job. He's, uh, he's going to play a lot of football for us. I mean, when you look at it. Um, you know, he, he's athletic, he, you know, he's quick twitch. When he gets the ball in his hands, he can make plays. So, um, you know, really when you look at slot receivers, guys can make plays with the ball. You know, you got Jalen Barden, Kanate, and, and Jordan Addison inside, you know, with uh, Bradley and Jared Wayne on the outside. It's a pretty good, I know I'm missing somebody, but, uh, you know, it's a good group of receivers. Uh, with the extension, uh, do you have any long-term plans for this program? Just try to keep winning. That's that's the goal is to win every Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Uh, with Rash uh, Rashad, um, you know, with John now gone at that star position, do you see him stepping into that role? And I guess how is he? Yeah, Rashad Battle, you're talking about. In fact, I got him talking to you today. EJ, did you right. tell him already? No. But no, Rashad's done a nice job. Uh, you know, not only at corner, he played some safety last year, but we got him at corner. We feel good there. I think I mentioned that you know Khalil Anderson will move to safety. It's been a kind of you know sometimes you make dumb decisions as coaches get the wrong guy. But uh, I think I really like what we've done with getting him back at corner. But Rashad and uh, J uh, McIntyre, uh, Javon McIntyre, the two guys working you know on third down at that star position uh, to replace Johnny Patricia. So uh, they've done a nice job. I, you know I forget who. I think Eric Howell can always go in there. He's smart and has got it down. But those are two guys that I think can really help us out there. And it puts five DBs back on the field, where last year was four linebackers on third down, which wasn't so bad because John was so athletic. You were talking about the uh, offensive installation. How has that been for your defense, facing kind of a new offense you know, for the first time in three or four years? You know, it's good. I mean, we're seeing different stuff that we haven't seen before. You know, you see the same stuff for three years in a row, and you kind of know the passing game a little bit. Um, but we're getting, I mean, we're getting tempo, we're getting huddle, we're getting... You know, 22 personnel, which is two tight ends and two backs in the game. We're going, you know, 10 personnel, which is four wide. So we've got a lot of different stuff. So our defense is, you know, uh, having a lot thrown at them as well, which is good. With that 22, is Renda tight end two right now? Yeah, I'd say Renda is uh, number two right now. Um, I think, uh, you know, again, I think, is he talking today, Renda? So you, uh, you got, did you give him a cheat sheet? You read uh, my mind. But, you know, Renda's, you know, doing a nice job. I mean, he came in here at 210 pounds. He's 255 right now. Uh, he's bigger, stronger. He's playing really well. Um, so he would be that extra tight end in there. And then we can also sub with an offense lineman as well. There's been a lot of talk about the offensive line coming back. What about, are you finding some depth in the offensive line this spring? Um, you know, a little, still a little banged up there. So, you know, um, I don't know if we're finding depth. You know, Ryan Jacoby's doing a nice job getting in there. But, you know, just... You know, again, nothing bad on the O line, but just you know, uh, you, you know, I can't say there's a whole lot of depth there. But you know, I feel good with our two deep anyway. So, uh, you know, I actually, you know, one guy that really, you know, has gotten a lot better is Jason Collier. He's made some major strides at, at uh, right tackle right now is where we had him. We had him guard a lot last year, but he's just grown up and starting to figure it out. So we're happy with where he is. I just said at the start of camp about forgetting about last year. If the guy's done a good job of forgetting about that and focusing just on this. Yeah, you know, I think so. I mean, you, you, the only way you gauge that is how they practice. Do they think they're too good now to practice? Do they want to, you know, to have a different attitude? So, again, the, the attitude has been let's go to work. Um, so that's how I gauge it. We don't talk a lot about it. Um, 
So I should say we don't talk at, about it at all. We'll talk about it. We hope the rings are here on, uh, on the spring, spring game. Uh, so maybe we'll talk about it a little bit that day. Uh, have a breakfast with all the parents and families in the morning and, and, uh, and give those out. You say the you say the rings. Mm -hmm. Who uh, like, did you design those or how, how did that go down? Um, well, no, I think uh, you know one of those rings companies designed it, but we you know had say what they looked like and what we wanted them you know what we wanted on those things. So uh, yeah, we you know designed it together, me and Lasalle pretty much, and get a little input from the players. They like them. Anything final so, for Coach I Jerry? Last one. Hines on Saturday, as long as you make sure the weather. You can talk to the weather lady. Oh, see make, sure, make sure we're okay here. I wanted to be outside today, but you know, no cooperation. So yeah, we we got to get to Hines Saturday. We've been outside one time. It's great, right? Uh, no, we, well, we've been to Hines one time already. Oh, we've been, we've been twice. Yeah, I think we've been outside at least twice. Okay, but yeah, you know, I just don't want to slip on the grass and get anybody hurt. Okay, otherwise we'd have been out. Kind of warm, warm in here too. All right, guys, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you. you.